Good kill, good kill. Hey, good kill. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. We're back in the A10 Warthog. It's been a while since I've been in this bird. Uh, I know a lot of you in the comment section were asking us to get back into the A10, so we're gonna do that here today. Uh, we got some friendlies uh, up ahead, these two groups. The X's are friendlies, by the way. The front two guys look like they're taking some sort of contact. They've pushed up pretty close to that little city edge there, and you can see some explosions happening. Once again, the X is friendly, the green X here. Uh, looks like possibly a Bradley with infantry around it. And it looks like they're taking fire from the village or city, I should say, right here. Yeah, you see all those little dots there? Those are all bad guys. Uh, so we're gonna... I was thinking maybe we could drop a 2,000 pound bomb on them, but I don't think we need to do that. <laughs> it seems like slightly overkill. Uh, what I am going to do is set up a gun run and uh, do a little bit of a show of force. We'll take out anybody we can in the gun run there, but anyone else who survives the gun run will probably leave. And really my intention is to take some of the pressure off those friendlies. Uh, looks like they're taking a decent amount of fire. Uh, this mission is available for download if you want to grab it. Uh, it's with the A10C. If you want to pick up the A10, by the way, there's uh, your code growling for 10% off. Uh, shout out to ED for making that possible. I uh, got these guys designated here, and I want to roll in on kind of a kind of an east to west run, like perpendicular to the city here, so that I don't, you know, there's no possibility of strafing friendlies as we cut across here. Let's go ahead and line this up. Oh, I can see these guys right here. Oh yeah. Pull up, pull up. Oh yeah, that's good. Oh, Altitude. those are good hits. Altitude. Peel pull off up. here. Pull up. Nice. Happy with that. Bet money the friendlies like watching that. <laughs> yeah, it's right there, you see that? That was awesome! Alright, we will go around. Uh, there's a lot of missiles being fired. I'm doing a little roll, flying a little bit evasively here, just in case anybody fired like an ATGM or something at me. Uh, I do think there's some air uh, assets in the area, possibly some Heinz or KA-52s. I know we have Apaches here, for sure. Uh, something was trying to pick me up on radar, but I didn't quite figure out what it was. I didn't see it in time, and it was only for a moment. Uh, so I'm not quite sure what it was. We'll come back around and see if we can find another target. Pull up some Mavericks here. Um... It does look like the tracer fire stopped from that spot that we did the gun run on, so that's good. Um, I think I see... What are these? There's like two little flying things over there. I can't tell if those are Apaches or if they're hostile. Uh, possibly Heinz. Let's put a... Let's get the TGP over there to look at them. Right there. And then let's slave it over. That is a hind. Yeah, that's an MI-24 hind. So, I do have two sidewinders. Let me see if we can take these guys out, because if they are hitting our boys, that's going to be a problem. Uh, I got air-to-air -air mode pulled up here. Just gotta put this circle right on them. I know I can uncage the circle, by the way. A lot of you guys in the comment section uh, commenting on that. I'm aware of that. I prefer to do it like this. You hear that? Something's locking me again. 
I'm dropping flares. Missile launch. I'm still alive. This guy's turning to face me here. He's trying to square up against me, <laughs> this hind. He's diving away. That one went for flares. Second Fox 2 in the air. It's tracking. Splash 1. <sighs> okay, got him. Those, uh, those hinds are a problem. Looks like the other one just got shot down in front of me as well. And I'm just trying to get out of here. You can see uh, lots of AAA fire behind me. So, uh, whatever Altitude. shot at me, Altitude. shot from that area, I got designated with the HMD right now. So we'll come around and have a look in there. Oh, something just exploded above my head. Wow. That almost had my number on it. Uh, so this is where the, uh, there it is. There's an SA-13 right in there. Looks like there was a couple of, of them in there, actually. Um, I'll hit him with a Maverick, I think. Got him designated. Uh, Mav's not shooting. I think it's because I don't have it selected. Uh, nope, hold on. Hold on, I lost my designation here. Oh, he's dead. Never mind. I think friendlies lit up that place once they started shooting Sam's. I think a bunch of friendly uh, tanks just absolutely leveled the whole area. Alright, problem solved. There was another, yeah, you can see the missile trail down there. There's an SA-13 down there as well. My, DG, my TGP is on the other side, so i got to turn around so I can actually see him. But he's shooting at something down there. Uh, I can't quite make out what it is. But it is fighting for its life for sure. I think that was an Apache and I think he killed it. I didn't see him hit it, so I don't know how it died, but it definitely got hit. Uh, but I do have that SA-13 designated. And I'm gonna see if I can shoot him. I thought about doing a gun run on him, because I think he's all out of missiles. And, you know, he needs to reload. And while he needs to do that, he's vulnerable, so... I thought about a gun run, but I'm not sure if he actually is out of ammo. So I don't think I'm going to do that. I think we're just going to play it safe. And I'm going to hit him with a Maverick here. Uh, Maverick's got him locked up. Here we go. 4.4 miles off the nose. And, oh, I don't have Mavs selected. Hold on. There we go. Okay. That was better. Okay. Uh, rifle. Stuff. And we'll peel off. Uh, TGP on my left wing, so I'm just going to turn to the right so that my TGP can continue to hold line of sight on this guy. Uh, 
hill. He's looking over here. Ooh, he has a missile. He has one more missile in his little pod there. Look at him. He's locking me up. That's why I didn't gun run him. Oh, he shoots, and the Mav got him. <laughs> okay. Uh, I still dropping flares to be safe. That missile has no track, so we got away with that one. Huh. Okay, there's a tank formation that came out of the, the city there and uh, charged our friendlies. Uh, they got a whole lot of them. You see all these little smoke plumes in front of me. But there's a couple that look like they maybe got through. And so I'm gonna try to engage these guys with Mavericks. There we go. Get the nose on them. Uh, rifle. At three miles. And then the other guy looks like he's already hurt pretty bad. He's smoking this guy. And rifle. That last one might have been a little too close. I don't know if that's gonna be able to hit that guy. Pull up. Pull yeah, it up. missed. It went over his head. But we did hit the first guy. Uh, so we'll go around. I'll come around and I'll do a gun run on this, uh, this last one. All right, this is the guy who uh, the Maverick went over his head. So we'll gun run this guy. There we go, those are gonna Hold ruin up. his Hold day. Up. Yeah, he's got quite the headache, that guy. <laughs> All right, so he's done for. Oh, we got some incoming Altitude. tracer fire. Pull up. Looks Pull like up. there's another T-72 right there. Uh, let's come back around on him as well. Last guy, I think. Okay, I got this guy designated, uh, actually, you know what? No, let's just gun run him. I was gonna hit him with a Maverick, we're way too close for that. Pull up, pull up. Uh, let's ring his bell here. <laughs> oh yeah, that, unfortunately that was from the front, so I don't think it did too much damage, but he is not happy about it. <laughs> for sure he did not like that. Just because that gun run didn't really do too much to him, I think we're just gonna hit him with a Maverick and just wrap this up. So let me just come around, point the nose at him. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Friendly got him. Somebody got him. He's out. All right, so I found a T-72 in the open right here. Looks like he is actually looking in the direction of some friendlies. Uh, so let's go ahead and drop a 2,000 pounder GBU-31 on him. Uh, we're going to do this in a CCRP drop, continuously computed release point. Let me just point it at him. There we go. And we got the Q. And hold this 2,000 pound JDAM for me, my dude. I hope I was high enough for that, usually, because sometimes with those 2,000 pounders, you gotta give them room so they can actually, like, you know, maneuver and hit their target. If you're too low, they can't maneuver and they miss. 
and uh, he is actually engaging friendlies, so I really hope that that lands, yeah, <laughs> right in the head. <laughs> Somebody was like shooting at me right there. Came from, I think, right there. I love the HMD on this thing. It makes it so easy. Look at that. Yeah. We got White Hot showing me a vehicle right there. Technical. It looks like uh, they got like a AAA gun on the back mounted, whatever those are called. Uh, right there. Okay. Uh, I would love to just lose another 2,000 pounds off this aircraft, so let me hit him with another GBU-31. Make a very quick work of them. They're also going to be a real problem because uh, I think they're going to engage me when I try to drop the bomb because I'm not very high, as you can tell. We're only about 5,400 uh, feet. So once I drop this bomb, they're going to probably shoot at me. And i got to be nice and level, too. Uh, pickle? I can actually watch him. Yeah, he's engaging me. Look at that. He's shooting. Oh. So I'm just kind of like bobbing and weaving, trying to be evasive. And constantly trying to dodge those rounds. Oh, that hit near. Did it get him? Yeah, that got him. There's like smoke coming out of that spot. And... Also, the TGP sees it. Okay, let's get out of here. Let's go buzz some friendlies and then get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> 